Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The fourth station. Jesus meets his blessed mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, Behold, this child is set for the fall and rising of many in Israel, and for a sign that is spoken against and a sword will pierce through your own soul also, that thoughts out of many hearts may be revealed. And his mother kept all these things in her heart. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, how painful it was for your it was for you to meet your afflicted mother, and how painful it was for her to meet you, her beloved son, laden with the cross, and going to die for our sins. Give us grace that, like Mary, we too may follow on the way of the cross with single and deep devotion and faithfulness to you. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The fifth station. Simon of Cyrene helps Jesus carry his cross. We adore your Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. As they were marching out, they came upon a man of Siren, Simon by name. This man they compelled to carry his cross. Then Jesus told his disciples, If any will come after me, let him deny himself and take up his cross and follow me. For whoever will save his life, will lose it. And whoever loses his life for my sake, will find it. Let us pray. O Jesus, may it be our privilege also to bear your cross, as did Simon of Cyrene. May we glory in nothing else, for by your cross, the world is crucified to us, and we are crucified to the world. May we never shrink from suffering, but be counted worthy to suffer for your sake. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The sixth station. Veronica wipes the face of Jesus. We adore you, o Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. He had no form or comeliness that we should look at him, and no beauty that we should desire him. He was despised and rejected by men, a man of sorrows, and acquainted with grief. And as one from whom men hide their faces, he was despised, and we esteem him not. Thou hast said, Seek ye my face. My heart says to thee, Thy face, Lord, I do seek. 
hide not thy face from me. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, may the contemplation of your suffering move us with the deepest compassion. Make us hate our sins and kindle in our hearts a more fervent love of you. May your image be graven in our minds until we are transformed into your likeness. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The Seventh Station Jesus Falls for the Second Time We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. Behold, O Lord, for I am in distress. My soul is in tumult. My heart is wrung within me. My eyes are spent with weeping. My soul is in tumult. My heart is poured out in grief. I am a man who has seen affliction under the rod of the Lord's wrath. He has driven and brought me to darkness without any light. Surely against me he turns his head again and again the whole day long. He has filled me with bitterness. He has sated me with wormwood. Let us pray. O oh Jesus, you have borne all our burdens and you continue to carry us. The weight of our sin has made you fall. How often have we grieved you by our own falling back into sin? Lift us up, for by ourselves we cannot rise from our bondage to the world, the flesh, and the devil. By the grace of your cross, grant us to rise from our fall into sin. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The Eighth Station The woman of Jerusalem mourned for our Lord. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. And there followed him a great multitude of people and of women who bewailed and lamented him. But Jesus, turning to them, said, Daughters of Jerusalem, do not weep for me, but weep for yourselves and for your children. For behold, the days are coming when they will say, Blessed are the barren and the wombs that never bore and the breast that never gave suck. They will begin to say to the mountains, Fall on us and to the hills, cover us. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, you taught the woman of Jerusalem to weep over the sins of the Jer Jerusalem. Grant that as we meditate upon your sufferings, we may weep and mourn over our sins, which were the cause of your suffering and which you bore to the cross, that we might be purified. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. 
the ninth station. Jesus falls for the third time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. He has made my teeth grind on gravel and made me cower in ashes. My soul is bereft of peace. I have forgotten what happiness is. So I say, Gone is my glory and my expectation from the Lord. Remember my afflictions and bitterness, the wormwood and the gall. My soul continually thinks of it and is bowed down within me. The Lord is my portion, says my soul. Therefore, I will hope in him. For the Lord will not cast off forever, but though he cause grief, he will have compassion according to the abundance of his steadfast love, for he does not willingly afflict or grieve the sons of men. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, grant that we who are incessantly afflicted by the weight of our sins may not be crushed by it, but may be delivered from our sins and strengthened in holiness by your blessed cross and passion. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The tenth station. Jesus is stripped of his garments. Garments. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. I am poured out like water. All my bones are out of joint. My heart is like wax. It is melted within my breast. My strength is dried up like a pot shirt. And my tongue cleaves to my jaws. Thou dost lay me in the dust of death. A company of evildoers encircles me. They divide my garments among them. And for my raiment they cast lots. And they cast lots to divide his garments. And the people stood by watching. But the rulers scoffed at him. Saying, he saved others. Let him save himself. If he is the Christ of God, his chosen one. The soldiers also mocked him. Let us pray. O oh, Jesus, you endured this public humiliation for our shameful deeds. Strip us, we pray, of all false shame, conceit, and pride, and enable us to humble ourselves voluntarily in this life that we may escape everlasting shame. In the world to come. Amen. O Lamb of God, who takes away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. The eleventh station. Jesus is nailed to the cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. For by your holy cross, you have redeemed the world. By oppression and judgment, he was taken away. And as for his generation, 